What's up everyone? Man, do I have a good one for you today. So excited. I'm gonna show you how I went from looking like this to this for under $200 and with no professional lights. All right, let's dive in. One of the most daunting things for me when I started, and I think a lot of aspiring YouTubers and content creators, is that they think they need all this crazy equipment. They think they need multiple lights, they think they need uh, foam boards, or like a crazy cool office, sick desk and chair, and all that kind of stuff. And those things do look cool, and in many instances they do make things easier, but they are not at all needed for you to start out. For you to start out, all you need is a camera and a little bit of creativity. I built this room that you're seeing now for under $200 and I'm going to show you how I did it and how you can do it for yourself. Switched over my GoPro now, I'm going to first start by showing you the things that I bought for this room and then I'll show you how I use them to make the room look like they did. So this light bar is just a very simple light bar off Amazon. It's just, I think it was 60 euros and it comes with a great remote here. The remote makes it change to, I think, six or eight different colors. Cycle through them. It's really nice. You can also sync it to music if you wanted to. The next are the shelves. I bought these off Amazon as well for 20 euros. And I just use the light to bring that space up and make the shelves really pop. I just fill it with the camera gear I had. I had a couple lenses. I have my speaker up there. I have my flash and drive. That kind of stuff. And it just brings this empty wall here together. It makes it feel like less of an empty space. Next is this shelf here. On top, I just put more camera gear, kind of electric fireplace that we had around the house. I find it looks pretty cool and it makes gives you that kind of orange and teal look in the video. And the key to that is just, if you have anything in the house that looks remotely kind of cool or interesting or has a cool color to it, try to throw it in the room. See if you can use it for something, right? This paper here, it's just basically a heavy black craft paper and I use it to wrap anything in my frame that is just basically ugly. So I wanted to elevate my laptop with my stand here and all I had is these boxes. So I use this craft paper to kind of clean that up and make it look like it's just sitting on two nice black boxes. The same with my light stand here. I just use that to clean the box up as well. I've also used the craft paper on this window. This window was really harsh when I was first started shooting and I wanted to black it out. This is a temporary space for me, so there's no point in me buying drapes. So I use that and it does the job perfectly and I can easily hide that in editing. The final and possibly most important element of your room is your key light. Now, the key light is the main light that illuminates your subject, being yourself in front of the camera. Now, I am using two different lights for this. I am using a old, simple desk lamp and I'm using the window off to my side. My lights still haven't come from Australia yet, so I'm using these in the time being. Now, as you can see, it's not that bad at all. Especially with a little bit of editing in post, you can make it look pretty darn good. So you do not need to go out and buy an expensive softbox or any kind of dome lights or any high-tech lighting for that. If you have some simple things and you're a little creative, you can make it work for the space you're in. Now, that's it for me, guys. I hope this motivated you to look at your space and see what you can do with it and start shooting with what you have. You don't need to have the expensive equipment. You don't need to wait till you can afford that or can rent certain things or till you can design your own room yourself. Start small and start shooting. That's the most important thing you can do. See you in the next one. Cheers.